all right y'all let's uh, make a wallpaper right anyways um we're gonna need to add a brush and uh i already downloaded it, installed it but i'm gonna show you guys how to install a, a new brush in gimp and it's fairly easy i recommend going to a place called the von art and um, i'll put a link in the description as well as a link to the brush as well and um if you want to install a brush in your home folder open up your home folder here and um press control h and look for dot gimp dot g i m there it is and right here where it says brushes just double click it make sure your your brush is extracted to the point where you see the you know the abr and it can be in the folder as well if you want to just leave it all organized if you like just drag it in there and uh if the gimp is running uh shut it down and restart it so you can see it so anyways let's uh get on with it now my resolution is pretty high and since i'm making a wallpaper i'm setting the resolution of the, of the actual uh image to my to the resolution of my screen so so let's say uh let's go file new so this is my resolution right here so depending on on your size of the screen you know put 1440 by 900 or or whatever so it can look nice when it's all done press ok now for starters i'm going to just make like a nice you know background gradient so let's select the uh the gradient tool here on the foreground which is black now we're going to change that to a a nice deep purple and you can change colors by you know sliding up and down here and in here as well but I already found this one that I like it's like a like a plum purple I guess so let me select that okay on the background we're going to select black on your gradient toolbox here select radio and um yeah, that's it right there. Okay, you have to reset. Okay, now let's, uh, from the center, pull out to the very edge, but not all the way. The further, like, inwards, you'll have more of a darker outline, you know, border. The further out, it'll be brighter from the middle, so it depends on how, on your taste. So I'm going to put it about right there. Now you see it has a nice little purple center with a, with a dark, you know, border line. So, anyways. Let's uh, go back to our layer dialog here and duplicate. Well, you're not really duplicating, you're adding a, a transparent layer. So now on your bucket fill tool, click that. Now click your, your uh, tool for the bucket fill. Now click on pattern fill and also click on fill whole selection. Now click on the pattern and patterns can be installed the same way I showed you as brushes. Just put, put the pattern in the uh, in the pattern folder so I'm going to select something kind of whatever like this right here now we're going to go in here and we're just going to fill it all right now it's filled as you can see it's you know it's it's over it's on top of the purple layer and it's blocking the layer so we're going to have to lower the opacity Bef but before you go that far make sure you uh, check it back to normal where it says you know FG color to fill right there now on the mode of this pattern fill, we're going to select soft light. And you zoom in, you can kind of see that it's a little bit see-through. And it's a bit much for me, so I'm going to lower it down about right there. That looks good. That's fine. Now we're going to select the, um, I mean, add another transparent layer. And we're going to add a uh, an ellipse tool here, the, the circle tool. When you stretch it out like this, hold down, I believe, the control key to make it even. Or is it the shift key? It's a shift key, I'm sorry. Like so. Well, let me, uh, oh, here we go. That's better. Right about there. Now, we're going to fill it with a color, so we're going to pick black. Let's now select your, your bucket fill. There you go. Now, you notice it's off. And we want to put it in the center. So let's go select none. And then go layer. Auto crop. See how it cropped the layer. Now go to your center tool which is right here above the bucket fill. Go to the tool dialog for it. Click on the layer you want to move. I mean uh, center. Then click this. Here and here. Now it's center. Now the border as you can see it's still cropped. And when you have a crop border, what you what, if you ever blur this layer, the blur will never pass the border. So you gotta you know you know reset the border back to normal. So 
let's go back to our layer dialog again. Right click on the on the uh, layer and go to layer to image size. Now your border is reset. It's all along the edges again. So let's duplicate this layer one more time. Right click on it, add alpha to selection. Select your bucket fill tool. Select your color to white. Fill it with white and duplicate that one more time. Now, as you can see the little marching ants, the little the border, we're gonna shrink this layer quite a bit. So go to uh, select, I'm sorry, edit. I'm, where is it? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was right. Select, shrink, and shrink it by. For me, since my resolution is high, I'm going to shrink it by like by uh, 25 or 20. I don't know if you can see that. I think my screen. Let me just keep it zoomed for now on so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I shrank the uh, the little the little marching ants, you know. Okay, now we're gonna make one more transparent layer. And now as you can see, I still have the little selection that's shrunk. So we're gonna select our color tool again and already selected this nice little orange. Now we're gonna fill it right here. Now, let's make another transparent layer. Okay, now it's above the orange. Select your, your paintbrush right here. Now select your, your paintbrush, you know, selection. And I'll leave the link to this brush as well. And you'll probably recognize it when I select it. So there we go. Now we're going to, you know, scale it down just a bit. Oh, and also we need to change the color of it. So let's change it to white. And kind of like, uh, how can I say this? Uh, size it up a bit, you know, make sure it's uh, even, you know, eyeball it, I guess. Right about. I don't know if you can see that, but right about there center. Because if you were to auto crop this and center it, because of the object being so, you know, loppy, it won't center properly, so you gotta do it yourself. Right about there is fine. Okay. No, it's still a little bit off. Let me do that one more time. That's good enough. Okay, now. We're going to duplicate that layer twice. One, two. All right. On the bottom layer of the logo, right here, we're going to blur it. So let's go to uh, Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And when we blur it, we're going to blur it somewhat heavy, maybe like 20, 35, 20, 30, something like that. And it kind of gave it like a nice little... Uh, like a highlight, almost almost looks like it's glowing. So on that blur layer, we're gonna go on the mode selection, select grain merge. On this selection up here, on the, in the middle, this logo, the middle logo right here, select uh, soft light. And on the upper section, just select uh, overlay. And you can't really see the difference, but it does make a subtle difference. It has a nice little fade to a glow kind of a look, as you can see. So now, now what do we do? On the bottommost layer, which would be the black layer right here, as you can see, my, my marching ants are still selected, so we need, we need to deselect that. So we're going to go select none. So now I'm on my, my bottom black layer right here. So let's go filters blur gaussian blur and blur this one fairly heavy maybe close to 100 for my resolution if you have a lower resolution maybe less okay now i kind of gave it a little bit of a some depth to it depth see now on this uh white layer right here right click on it add alpha to selection now we're going to shrink it once more so select, shrink, and not so much, maybe by half of that, so it'll be well less than half, so maybe uh, six. Okay, now let's click the white layer above it right here. Now hit your delete key. 
Now what this did, it made a ring. So if you if you uh, re, you know remove the eyeball here, you can see a little white ring. That's all it did. So you so you still have the two white layers. So now we're gonna go select none, select none. On the bottom layer here, of the of the full white layer, we're gonna go soft light. On the ring layer, we're gonna go normal, but we're just gonna lower the opacity. Right about there. And I kind of gave it a, a like a semi-glassy effect, as you can see. Let me move this, uh, my uh, paintbrush here. It's kind of in the way. Okay. Now, on the lower glassy layer, the, the, the full white layer that is now soft light, we're going to duplicate it one time. Now kind of gave it a nice highlight, as you can see. Okay. Now, let's jump back up to this, this uh, orange layer here. Right-click, alpha to selection. Make a duplicate layer. Not a duplicate, I'm sorry. A uh, transparency. Now move this transparent layer, transparent layer all the way to the top. Okay, now we're gonna select the circle ellipse tool. Select the toolbox and select uh, add, I believe, intersect with current selection. So select this right here. Now we're just gonna give it a nice little odd overlapping kind of a, an effect right here. Now select your gradient tool. And where it says gradient, the select this and go to FG to transparent and select it back to linear. Now hold your control key and stroke up. Now you have a nice little gloss, like a glossy button. Now select none. And if need be, if you want, lower the opacity. And usually what I like doing with, with these little these little highlights like this, like sometimes it looks good when you go to grain merge. I don't know if you can see that, but the color kind of bled through it just a bit. Now, again, on this orange selection, click on it. Now we're just going to add a, an easy drop shadow. So go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Unselect this, and press OK. Now you have a little a drop shadow. And on the drop shadow, just lower the opacity somewhat and also right click on it and you know layer to image size and I guess that's about it unless you want to add another highlight to the glass and if you want to do that um, right here on the uppermost layer of the white layer right click add alpha to selection now select your ellipse tool now select your, your rectangular tool, that'd be better. Select your toolbox again, make sure you're, you're intersecting. Highlight it. Select your, you know, your grading tool once more. Hold the control key. Stroke it up just a bit, not too much. Mm, you can barely see it. So let's try this. Let's make a transparent layer. Right here, see it? Now let's do that again. There we go. Select none. Now, just lower the opacity just slightly. About there. That looks good. Now we're done. Well, I think we're done. File. Save as. Put a. Now we're gonna save as a JPEG. J. Oops. Yeah. Dot. JPG. Save. Export. Raise the quality. Save. Let's go to my home folder here. There it is. Right click. Says background. Hide it. And there you go. There's your nice little wallpaper. So, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask.